channel. My name is Danian and I create intimate and sweet art with wildlife and nature. This is my first video and I wanted to share with you all some of my sketchbooks from my first year in art school and my experience making them. I'm currently in my last semester before graduating with my BFA and recently got done with my thesis exhibition, which was an incredible experience. But going back to these two little sketchbooks here, I really wanted to explore concepts about intimacy and coexistence through wildlife and landscape, but on a much smaller scale. I've always been drawn to inspired by nature when creating art, and it's the main passion I have when it comes to creating. Starting off with the first page, here's a couple of burrowing owls snuggling together. My process of coming up with each composition, or even what animals to draw, were in the moment before creating each page. I'd sometimes be inspired by various wildlife videos on social media, or documentaries, or just seeing how certain animals interact but I mainly stuck to spontaneous decisions. For me, sketchbooks have always been a part of my process, but a more chaotic and rough brain spill of ideas. They've rarely been organized, but I thought about how I could switch that up. How could I explore and experiment with my ideas differently through a sketchbook? Many people use sketchbooks differently to process ideas and thoughts, and I want to preface that your way of creating through sketchbook isn't limited. It can be as pretty, as messy, as well thought out, or as spontaneous as you want. To start out, I wanted a small sketchbook and decided to get these pocket-sized sketchbooks from Moleskin. I found watercolor paper to be the best for the variety of materials I use, and overall, it's just great for multimedia. I've fallen in love with how intimate and personal this size is. You can hold it comfortably and carry it around easily. I also tried to keep each spread limited on how much time I spent. It kept everything in a nice space between planned, but also rough around the edges. While I'm flipping through, you can see me going back and forth with having animals either sleeping, awake, single animal or multiples, I found that some choices really helped hone down the feelings that resonated with me, being intimacy and sweetness. Whether it's the comfort of sleeping or the coziness of snuggling with another, these themes became very close to me. When it comes to the material choices, I've always loved pen and ink for a while and its illustrative quality. As for watercolor, I found it to aesthetically complement my pen line work and this was the first time I really colored in my drawings. About halfway through, I switched from using black fluid acrylics to using Posca markers for the night sky. They both have a great deep and flat color, but each come with their own pros and cons. The acrylic has reflection and light and can make pages stick together at times, but is overall more efficient and cost for a quantity. I found it perfect for larger drawings and paintings I make as well. Posca markers have a great matte look also, but I found them to run out relatively quickly. But materials at times just come down to personal preference and experimenting with what works best for the art that you make. I absolutely adore this spread with a mother duck and a duckling surrounding her. It might be my favorite, honestly. I would love to know which of these pages are your favorites also.
The sketchbook spanned my first semester and kind of testing out what I wanted to focus working on during my school's program. It became this tiny storybook full of precious moments between animals. It became these special experiences that I related to on a personal level. Heading into my second semester, I wanted to continue exploring and refining down the themes from my midway exhibition, which is the middle point of the BFA program I'm in. Here's some quick pictures of it and some of the artwork I made. It was also an excuse to fill another pocket sketchbook because why not? The sketchbook had a more defined idea, which you can probably notice quickly, and just how comfortable it became with the materials and each page flowing into one another. The main change I wanted to explore in the sketchbook was being playful with the animals I chose to draw and reinforcing this idea of coexistence that was lingering in my mind. Throughout, you can see I was inspired by some fictional depictions like the fox and the hound, or Lion King, or sticking to animals I related environmentally, like their habitats. Even with this pre-planned and relatively careful approach to a sketchbook, there are moments of imperfections that help add character. These sketchbooks in my head became close to my heart and helped me explain this feeling of intimacy through nature. When it comes to references, I usually will have some kind of pose in mind, but I also find photos to help me with certain anatomy and perspectives, especially for animals I've never drawn before, which has been most of these, to be honest. It was super fun having to finally branch out and draw some of these animals and find which ones I love to draw the most. Consistency during this time helped me keep my mind focused not only on school, but my overall creative growth. It was a time out of my day to add to the storybook. With my art, I try to capture this childlike wonder and awe that nature emits. This comes in scale and how I've loved blending animals into landscapes. It's really reminded me of children's storybooks that are full of fantastical dreamscapes. Each and every element in these drawings and other works of mine have come naturally with influences and inspirations of the things I enjoy the most.
During this first year of art school, I learned so much about myself and making art. And thank you so much if you made it to the end of the sketchbook tour. I hope you all enjoyed seeing these tiny sketchbooks and you look into my process and experience while making them. I want to also add that in the moment of making them, so much of the language or way I articulated my work and its concepts was so different and confusing. It's come to me with practice, and please don't worry if you haven't tried to put words to describing your art. I found it beneficial in understanding myself, but again, there's an endless number of approaches to art and expressing it to others. Also, if you have any questions or video ideas for me, please leave a comment. Have a great day.